Hi everyone, I'm Rosalie. And I'm Jodie. And we're drama workers from Actor Community Theatre. And today we're going to be doing a drama workshop all based around the theme of superheroes. Da -da -da! So we're going to start off with a game. Now this game is called Superhero Says. Now, me and Rosalie will say, superhero says, and we'll give you something to do, and you have to do it. But if we don't say superhero says, then you are not to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Superhero says, jump up and down. Superhero says, wave your hands. Superhero says, blink really fast. Touch your toes. <gasps> oh, I think, I think that person just over there, I think we caught you out. Mm. Remember, you're only meant to do it when we say superhero says. Okay, should we do a couple more? Yeah. Superhero says, pretend to fly. Superhero says, hop. Touch your head. Oh, I wonder if you got anybody out that round. Now, you could play this at home with the people that you live in. Maybe you could be the person in charge and you could be the superhero that tells everyone else what they need to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell you a story. And the story is about a young girl called Pippa. Pippa was a girl who lived with her dad in a small town called Slickpoo. Yes, I know it's got poo in the title of my time, but I promise you it's really lovely. We've got some lovely trees, we've got some lovely buildings, we've got a lovely school, we've got a lovely shop, we've got a lovely park. Uh, okay, okay, lovely... enough. Oh. Now, it was a Monday morning and Pippa was walking to school with her best mate, Michaela. Ooh. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Pippa. Now, Michaela was obsessed with space and she was particularly excited as tonight there was going to be a shooting star, but not just any shooting star, a wishing shooting star. Oh, Pippa, I can't wait for tonight. There's this star and it only shoots every 50 years. And if you're the first one to see it, you get to make a wish and it always comes true. Mm. Do you actually believe that, Michaela? Of course. All day at school, Michaela went on and on about the star. So, if you saw it, what would you wish for? I don't know, really. What would you wish for? My wish would be to live in space. Yeah, but Michaela, don't you think you might be a bit lonely in space? Uh, I guess. Okay, well, maybe to have the power to just pop up to space when I want. Mm. The school bell rang and Miss Bottom, yes, I said Bottom, let the children home. <sighs> Pippa thought about what Michaela said earlier about having a power. And maybe that is something she could wish for. But just then, the sky went green and there was a loud, squashy, crumbly noise and Pippa looked up. Oh, 
I am Mr. Bogey. And I am here to ruin your lovely town. Everybody went screaming back to his or her homes, as did Pippa. Ah! Home. Once home, Pippa's dad had the news on. This is the local news. Today's headlines. Bogies, bogies everywhere. Is there anyone out there that can help? That night, Pippa tried to sleep, but she couldn't. She wanted to think of a way she could stop the big bogey, but she just didn't know how. She looked out her window and then she remembered what Kevin said. Michaela said about the wishing star. <gasps> I remember what Michaela said about the shooting star. If I see it and I'm the first one to make a wish, then it'll come true. Oh! Frantically, Pippa looked out around the sky and just then, whoosh! Star went speeding past her window. Pippa closed her eyes and wished. When she opened them, nothing had happened. Pippa was so disappointed. <laughs> she sat down on her bed, but then her body started to tingle and shake. And she felt like there were tickles going on all through yeah. her body. Because Pippa had become... Super Pip! I'm strong. I can fly. And I can go invisible. Pippa flew out of her home to find Big Bogey. And there he was by the school. Oh, what a lovely school. But it would be much better if it was slimy and green. Stop right there, big bogey. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, little girl. Right, that's it. I'm going to get you, Big Boogie. I'm going to fly round your head really fast and make you dizzy. And then, using my big, strong hands, I'm going to crush you and squeeze you and make you into a small little boogie. And I'm going to roll you up in my hand till you're really small. And then I'm gonna flick you back to bogey land because that's very far, far, far away. Three, two, one, flick! <laughs> bye bye, bogey! The next morning, Pippa was walking to school with Michaela. Morning, Michaela. Morning, Pippa. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I waited up last night and I saw the star and I made my wish, but it didn't come true. I think someone must have beaten me to it. But, I heard the big bogey's gone at least. I wonder who saved us. So that is our story about Super Pip, who became a superhero to fight the villain, Big Bogey. So, wow. 
So what we would like you to do is to have a think. If you were to become a superhero, who would you be? What would your name be? And what would your superpower be? So you might decide that you want to write about this character. You might want to draw it. Or you may even want to dress up as it. Definitely. And then obviously every superhero needs a super villain. So Super Pip had the big bogey. So maybe you could also come up with a character for your villain. Mm, fantastic. So you've got the um, superhero says game to try out to play along with us. And you've also got to think of your own superhero, super villain to create your own story as well. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.